Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week and the content so far. So, yesterday I uploaded a video and I had a few good comments that made me want to redo this. Um, so if you've already seen it, you don't want to watch it, I understand. Uh, feel free to skip past it, but I got some really good information for those of you that haven't seen it and I'm actually gonna clarify on a couple of things that uh, I didn't quite clarify when I did the video the first time so let's get into it uh, the other day was Cornwall Tuesday and I was looking at getting these Sunex sockets the quarter inch uh, impacts with the magnets and I couldn't remember if I had bought them off of Amazon or from the Cornwell dealer. I was pretty sure that I bought it from the Cornwell dealer. So the story goes, I had asked him, I said, hey, weren't these like 50 or 60 bucks or whatever? And he started laughing and he said, no, they weren't 50 or 60 bucks. I've never sold them for 50 or 60 bucks. They're something like 170, but right now they're, they're on sale for 149.99. And I was like, yeah, no, 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 they were like 50 or 60 bucks. He goes, no, no, they never were. And I was like, okay, no problem. Put them back on the shelf. Made my payment for the flashlight that I picked up. And I got off the truck. And I started thinking about it, you know. I don't think a lot of uh, new mechanics or new technicians coming into the field realize how dangerous it can be to go onto a tool truck and uh, invest a uh, pretty good portion of your paycheck every single time you go on there when you purchase a tool or a specialty tool or an item of some sort. And how that can affect you over time whereas if you would have been able to you know save it save for it in cash and buy it outright now i realize there's not always the option to uh, be able to buy it outright some guys are living from paycheck to paycheck as it is and sometimes it does make it a little bit more convenient to take a, a tool payment versus uh, waiting until they have the money to pay for it in full <clears throat> There are other things that you can do to not have to burden yourself with paying uh, what I felt was 100% markup, but in fact, it's more like a 50% markup, and I'll explain the math as we go into this video, which is why I wanted to redo it. <clears throat> um, so the other ways that you can go about it, you can uh, apply for a credit card or apply for an Amazon uh, store card or what have you to be able to purchase tools. The, essentially the same exact tools that you can buy on the tool truck for a fraction of the cost, get them, you know, two days ship to you if you have Amazon Prime or three or four days shipped if you don't have Prime. So that's that's one way that you can go about it. Another way would be to buy a lesser brand tool, use it until it breaks, and then as you can afford to step it up to the, uh, you know, a, a better quality product, uh, you know, the, what, an item that you would consider a better quality product. For instance, I think Gear Ranch and Sunex are pretty good quality products, and a lot of the times you can purchase those items off of the uh, Snap-on Matco Cornwell Mac truck and a lot of the times um, some of them are rebranded most of them aren't they're just still in the packages so if you haven't done your research I, I urge you to do your research uh, check out some of the tool names that you've been seeing on the truck maybe take a picture of it serial number whatever and uh, start looking up at Amazon and, and figuring out how much they really cost because this is the important part guys um, a year and a half ago, I purchased a toolbox. I feel like it's been a year and a half. I purchased my toolbox, not this last January, but the January before this. And it was uh, a Cornwall toolbox, and I think it was something like $3,800. I added some half inch sockets to it, and I don't remember, a couple other little small things, maybe a t shirt or something like that. Ended up owing them like $3,900 to begin with. I've been making about 160 to 180 dollar payments, and this is the gullible part, okay? At 22% interest. Now I realize that's really high, and it sounds crazy to want to pay that. At the time, I was under the same exact impression you guys were. Hey, can't afford it. I don't have a, a good credit to get a good credit card or anything like that. But the tool truck guy is approving me for credit. Maybe this is the way I can build my credit, establish it, whatever. I can get my nice box that I want, career box, and I'll figure it out later. Well, guys, later has come. And I've kind of blacked some stuff out, some important information, but 
Here just to show you, there's the 21.90% uh, interest. Uh, you can see here that I made a payment of 120 and then another payment of 60 and they took out a total of 6140 for the interest uh, bringing my balance down almost a year and a half later a little over a year later uh, to three thousand five hundred and thirty nine dollars and some change so what's the relevance behind this why am I sharing this with you guys well now granted I, I did buy a Cornwell toolbox but I'm, I'm mostly referring to the uh, how much more it is so if you're buying tools instead of a toolbox okay there's a couple things you have to think about this now there is some markup even with toolboxes I don't know how much the tool markup is for their specific brand but for other brands that you can find online or buy at a store is ridiculously higher so at this percentage rate I came in pretty close they're not charging me 31 I'm sorry they're not charging me 21.90 percent I did the math at $180 payment uh, I got $61.20 as the interest at 34 percent now that's 20 cents shy from the per, uh, the amount that went towards the interest not the principal balance so for every $180 I'm paying I'm paying essentially $62 and interest that's 34% that's not 22% so I'm not sure what's going on with that and even if I ask them I'm sure they're gonna throw me a bunch of salesman tactics and some lines of how oh that's over time this that and the other if you pay it off sooner it's less and what have it's a huge percentage guys it's it's way different than what they explained it was gonna be to you now let's talk about tool markup a little bit we got the Sonix uh, socket set that I was looking at that he told me is usually 170 bucks on sale for 149.99 right now plus tax this same socket set that I was looking at goes for 77.99 here on Amazon now let me zoom that in for you guys hopefully you can see it lower this down right there 77.99 same exact set same exact tool set so $77.99 if I deduct the amount based on interest they're charging 48% markup on that tool product to sell it at $149.99 on the truck now that's that's almost 50% so not a hundred percent it feels like a hundred percent markup when he says 170 but on sale for 150 whatever you do the math it comes out to about 48 percent markup on the actual tool i wanted to clarify that because i got a comment from somebody saying is it really 100 percent markup wouldn't that make it free yes okay uh i didn't sit down and do the math it just i felt like i was so robbed and cheated uh that i just blurted out 100 percent but thank you for the comment i really appreciate that uh, i decided to sit down this evening to redo this video and do the math I wanted to break down the math for you guys to show you so okay now let's let's continue mission so it's a 48 percent markup for this tool if you would have bought it off of the Cornwell tool truck now you take that tool because you don't have the money and you want to put it on Cornwell credit because you're gonna buy a handful of things or whatever so you put it on Cornwell credit Cornwell credit is the least amount of interest they charge is 18.99%. The highest they charge is about 22, which is where I'm at. So now you take the 48% markup, you add that plus whatever other tools you bought to your credit for this 22%, and then they end up charging you 34% of every payment that you make to go towards interest over a six year loan, 72 months, whatever. So that's where it gets even worse that's why I said it feels like hundred percent so if you take the already 50 percent almost markup from the actual tool that's clearly not worth the hundred and seventy bucks okay and you put that on credit and it has an interest percentage of like 35 percent you're at like 85 percent so wouldn't the tool almost be free 
yeah, to them, it absolutely would be free because they're making almost 100%, 85% interest to have you buy this tool and carry out a loan plus the markup for the tool. So they're making 85% off of this tool's actual value coming in at $77.99. So that's why I wanted to clarify things and I wanted to do a different video. Guys, look, I get it. If you're in a position where you don't have the credit or the resources, I urge you to not do the same exact thing that I did and take on tool truck debt. It's going to take you years and years to pay off unless you're making double payments, triple payments, things like that. Most guys do not do that. Most guys will make the minimum payment because that's what they can afford in their head, in their financial budget of things. They can only afford to make that minimum payment. Maybe every once in a while they'll throw an extra 20 or 30 bucks towards it or 40 bucks. But usually they don't have enough money to make double payments to pay it off in three years instead of six. Where they're still going to be making a significant amount based on the interest for you carrying it even for three years if you were making double payments. So, look, I just urge you guys to save your money. Try to buy it online if it's possible. If it's not, again, buy a lesser quality brand. And then when it breaks, then you can consider stepping it up. Do not fall victim or, you know, be so gullible that you take out all this debt. Don't just take my advice, okay? Talk to those around you. Talk to your senior mechanics, senior techs. You are going to see and find some senior techs that are just tool junkies that want to buy strictly off the truck. I was that exact same way. I fell into that when I was at the dealership. Um, there was... Two of my senior techs, that's what they did. Two of my other senior techs, before they left, they did not do that. They would buy it online or what have you. So, look, just uh, just be cognizant that this is, this is what you can expect if you take out tool truck debt. I hope this video helped somebody out there. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Share with me your experiences down in the comments. Um, share the video if you want to share it. But let's get the word out, okay? Let's make it to where the new guy doesn't fall, you know, victim to this situation and, and bury himself in, in tool debt or toolbox debt before he can even decide whether or not he wants to make this uh, his career or his profession and for a living for years to come. So that's all I got, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Hey, look, I'm not saying I've never bought a tool off a tool truck or that I'll never continue to purchase the occasional tool from the tool truck um, but I've smartened up you know I've, I've learned a lot from you guys my subs from the view uh, other subscribers I've learned a lot from their channels too I just thought I would put this video out there thanks guys cheers we'll see you next time